Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ishi. You are in Ishi Time, and welcome to a new magical readathon reading vlog. So I'm really scared I'm gonna fail this readathon because of this book. The Secret History by Donna Tartt. I have been reading this for half the month now and I'm only halfway through this book and I still have four other books to complete, but I am really liking this book. It's become one of my favorites. It's just a slow read and I just have to accept that and I have accepted it, but I don't want to fail this readathon. So while I was in the middle of that book, I also picked up Maximum Ride Volume 2, the graphic novel by James Patterson. This series has been very close to my heart since I was in middle school, high school. I love this series. I reread these books so many times when I was around that age. So going back into it, I hoped and prayed that I would still have the same love for this series as I did back then. And the first book, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was all the nostalgia and all the love. But this book fell short, I think. It felt really choppy. I couldn't connect to any of the characters. I couldn't connect to anything, really. And the characters are 14, 11, 8, and 6 years old. And everything they do is just so, like juvenile which makes sense because they're children but like i read percy jackson and harry potter and starting out they're like 11 and 12 too but i have no problem seeing the world through their eyes and i have no problem connecting to those characters but these ones just i just couldn't do it it was just too immature for me to enjoy this book so i'm very sad about that because this has always been one of my favorite series but I'm gonna have to change my mind now. I am also picking up A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I don't know how to feel about this yet because, well, I haven't started it yet, but I have heard it's a very sad book. And I don't know, I'm not someone who goes out of my way to read sad books, so I don't know what to expect from it and I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I hope I do. It has illustrations. Oh, are those feet? Those are feet. It has these illustrations that I think will add a lot to the atmosphere of this story. And I've heard that the illustrations paired with the text in this book is amazing, so I'm looking forward to that. In addition to this one and this one, I also have to finish Sorcery of Thorns, A Darker Shade of Magic, and Wicked Saints. As you've already established, I really, really don't want to fail this readathon. But as we've also established, there's just no way I'm finishing any of these. So I found substitutes. Would a plant look better in this frame? Oh, that looks way better. As I was saying, I was reading Wicked Saints for the prompt to read a book that's longer than 350 pages. And instead of that one, I am reading Ready Player One by Ernest Cline because I found it on audiobook and it just takes me way less time finishing an audiobook than a physical book. I am already three fourths of the way through this and I think I'll finish the rest today. I just listen to it at like twice the speed doing my random everyday chores and it's just easier for me to get through. Next, Sorcery of Thorns I was reading because it's black under the dust jacket and I needed to find a book that that's also black under the dust jacket. And I found this one, Between Sisters by Adwoa Badoe. I, I'm so sorry, I probably said that so wrong, but this is how it's spelled. And this is the book. Truth be told, I went to the library and I looked for The Thinnest Spine because that was obviously gonna be the shortest book. And I got this one pretty randomly, but now that I think about it, it's actually a really good book and it represents a culture that isn't well represented in YA at all. So I'm really excited to read it. This book is about a girl named Gloria Bampo. She's 16 years old and she has failed 13 out of 15 subjects on her final exam, which is rough. Her future looks very bleak because of it. Her mom is sick with a mysterious illness and her dad is unemployed and running water is a rarity and everything is just in shambles for her and her family. But then a relative offers to take Gloria north to Kumasi to cook, clean and look after her toddler son. And in exchange, this relative would pay for Gloria to go to dressmaking school. So she goes north and she's introduced to a lifestyle that's so different from her own 
And this book takes place in modern Ghana, which is not a place I get to read about in YA that much, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. Lastly, I was supposed to be reading A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and I was reading this for the prompt Gilderoy's Memory Charm, which was to read the first book from your TBR to come to mind, and this was the first one to come to my mind from my TBR. But I'm switching this out for Check Please by Gozi Uzaku. This was clearly not the first book from my TBR to come to my mind. But as we all know, Gilderoy Lockhart is a fraud and I thought I might as well just take a leaf out of his book and cheat a little bit. It's fine. Anyways, this book is about hockey. Honestly, I don't really know. I've seen this on like Tumblr and I've seen people comparing it to the Foxhole Court for some reason, but I think they're only doing this because it's about sports and like a sports team. But other than that, I don't think it's similar to the Foxhole Court at all. Like. I'd be surprised if it was. Today a package came for me and I'd do an unboxing, but like, it's Vow of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I don't know if you know this, but I, where is it? I love this book and this one is the sequel, which just came out in August. I just wanna open it and I just wanna see it. Isn't she an absolute beauty? They're both so pretty. <laughs> They're so pretty. Oh, and it's navy on the inside. I'm in love with this whole book. I have finished Ready Player One. I finished the audiobook last night and I gave it three stars. I'm struggling. I gave it three stars. Like, I kind of liked it, but I like did not like aspects of it. I did not like the main character. Anyways, the story takes place on like a virtual video game landscape and the main character, Wade, is just like constantly flirting online with this other girl, Artemis. I just didn't like the way that was done because this girl is just there to, you know, like play her video game, live her life, and he's just like, oh, will you date me? Like he's constantly like declaring his love for her, just like constantly going after her, like date me, I love you, I like you so much, blah, blah, blah. I, as a girl, would hate to go on some website expecting to just mind my own business and play my games, and then some guy comes at me from nowhere, like I love you, like blah, blah, blah. I don't know, I didn't like that and that's the train coming so i should stop talking because you probably will not be able to hear a single word anyways it is super late and i'm super exhausted and i am back at university this week i'm not back in classes but i'm like a student leader so we have to be back early for all like to help all the freshmen kind of move in and stuff whatever it's super exhausting and i'm super tired which is why i have not read as much as i wanted to this week and i have not read as fast as i wanted to but i do plan on finishing between sisters and check please tonight maybe i'll finish check please tomorrow morning depending on how tired i am tonight considering it is already like 11 o'clock but i have about 40 more pages of between sisters left and to be honest i don't know what i think about it there's a lot of problematic things going on that I'm not really comfortable reading about and I'm not comfortable recommending to people unless I know that they're okay with those triggers such as pedophilia and rape and it's not presented as a norm it is challenged in the book and I think it reflects the world as it is today because obviously these things are very real in the world and they should be challenged in books and they should be brought up as reality because it is reality but i just wasn't expecting it i absolutely love the glossary in the back and we get to learn all these new words the main characters speak in their language and look them up in the glossary and know what they mean and we get to read about our main character cooking all these ethnic foods it is definitely a really fun experience to read this book and to learn about this culture and to see how these main characters live but at the same time you do have to be aware of the trigger warnings after finishing 
Between Sisters and Check Please, I only have to finish The Secret History to pass my newts and I have the next couple of days because I think tomorrow is the 30th and then I have the 31st. So if I finish these two today, then I can work on finishing The Secret History in the next couple of days and then I can pass my newts. Like I said, today is a Thursday night, meaning I need to have this video up tomorrow and I need to edit all of this. Love that for me. I will end this video here. I hope it was entertaining. I don't know. Anyways, my name is Ishi. Thank you for spending time with me and I hope your day is as wonderful as you are.